Cheers, everyone. Um, as you know, I took on Mr. Reese Mogg and I also uh, spoke to uh, James O'Brien. I never realised how much of an impact talking about my business would have um, because life out the side of the country. I can't hear you at the back. Louder! Louder! So. Better! Louder! Right, sorry about that. Anyway, Kieran Donovan, people. I'm very privileged to be invited today to launch the People's Vote. Today, we are launching a petition. Okay, they can't hear you at the back. Hold it close. Speak into it. Yes. Hold it close. We have watched the chaos unfold in Cabinet and the turmoil and negotiations with dismay and foreboding. None of us voted for a bad deal or no deal that would wreck our economy nor do we accept that either is inevitable. If the Brexit deal is rejected by Parliament, then we, the people of Britain, <coughs> should have the democratic right to determine our own future. <laughs> that is why we are demanding a people's vote on the final Brexit deal. Help us to achieve this by signing the petition and sharing it far and wide. Together, we, the people, to determine the future of this country. <laughs> we want to get at least one million signatories on this, with people from every constituency in the country. I've even offered to deliver it to number 10 in the, my own van. <laughs> so everyone, get out your phones, sign it now. It's peoples-vote.co.uk forward slash petitions. Share it on Facebook, tweet on Twitter, and let's get as many as we can and show the government that we're serious about this. Um, right, so I'll uh, give you a quick three minute intro into what I actually do, as you probably heard on LBC. I, I travel over 200 times a year in and out of Europe, um, me and various other vans that I have on express services to and from Brussels and Paris, um, been to Switzerland and Norway, which have been particular nightmares for obviously being outside the customs union. Um, many MPs in favour of Brexit talk about a frictionless border. Um, this can be quite well highlighted. Um, by Airbus coming out the other day, the BMW Mini that actually wanted to come out. The reason is they have grave concerns about what's going to happen in the event that we leave the customs union and their just-in-time transport solutions will actually cease to exist. You have 4.2 million trucks a year coming in and out of Dover and Folkestone congregating around Ashford on the M20, which is about 12,000 a day. If it took 20 minutes for each truck to clear customs, it would take something like 95 years to clear a backlog of 365 days. Um, the government wants to introduce a 3,000 uh, lorry parking space on the M20. They think will solve the problem. That's a quarter of what comes in and out every day. There's limited spaces for traffic at the other two customs points around Dover, and traffic would literally cease to exist. So the food on your plate and the flowers you put in your pots and, and the seeds, the flowers, you know, everything, car components, they come from all over Europe, they're assembled on foreign owned production lines in this country. They need the freedom of movement of goods. And only being in the customs union will actually ensure that. Um, I've always long said that when we leave, it will be the end of my job and it will be the end of many other transport companies as well. And those transport companies actually secure the livelihoods of many people that work on production lines up and down the country that have only been made successful by being inside the single market and the customs union. The time has come for people, not just politicians, to find their voice and make it heard. My business and my livelihood are at risk from decisions being taken over there in Westminster by political leaders that neither care nor understand ordinary people like me. Most notably, most notably Boris Johnson, who said fuck business when he was asked by a 
an ambassador about the grave concerns of business in this country. The national petition for a people's vote on the final Brexit deal begins today. We have been taken to every street in the country, delivered back to Downing Street, and it will go in one of my vans, I guarantee you. Yeah. I'd like to thank everybody for coming today. Um, I've, I've been so strong, felt so strongly about this for the last two years, I know everyone else has. It's not just about my business, it's everybody else's, and it's how we are as a society. It's how we work as a country and how we operate, which makes us how successful we actually are. So the next time anybody any MP wants to debate with me the true nuts and bolts, coalface workings of the customs union, I'd be, I'd be more than happy to debate it with them because they will not have an argument to what I can say to them. When you're outside, it will be an absolute nightmare. So, thank you very much. Thank you, Donovan. Thank you, Donovan.